John Chow here from johnchow.com and I'm back in Orange County. I'm here for the dot com lunch. Back from Las Vegas, supercharged, back from uh, Costa Rica, even back from the Home Business Summit that was there yesterday and met some people. Overall, it's, it's, it's good to be back. How's that sound? It's good to be back, yes. And yeah, and of course, they're back from Vegas too. So we had uh, Kenny was in Vegas and uh, Bobby was in Vegas. Had a good trip, learned a lot. Great fun, yep. Things I look forward to when I come back to Orange County is the the beautiful iced coffee they have here. It's it's so good. And oh, this is a new dish. What is this? What is this here? What is this? Can lemongrass chicken salad? That's gotta be the biggest damn salad I've ever seen. I mean, it, and you got a, you got a huge cup of tea. Like by comparison, here's my Coke, kind of Coke. Yeah, a big cup of tea, and. And that is a good looking and lemongrass chicken. I, I, I tried lemongrass pork chop. You should have lemongrass because I, I see I see a hot pepper there. Uh, that's what the menu said. Are you, sure? you should have lemongrass. I don't think the lemongrass. Maybe not. That's your chicken, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this okay. This is lemongrass chicken, and that is uh, chicken chow mein. Man, oh, what? Then you can't call it chicken chow mein. It's chicken rice. It's not even. <laughs> Yeah, it's chicken rice, it's not chicken chow mein. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, that's yeah there's no chow mein in it. Okay, it's chicken chow mein without the, without the, without the chow mein. There you go. And, and I went for, instead of my usual number 17, uh, I went for egg, egg noodles today with a cha siu and, and bean meatball. It comes with this little interesting chip that's quite good. You put it in the soup, it becomes nice and soggy. So you can eat like the soggy part or you can eat the crisp part, your choice. And it's got this nice uh, garlic. Oh, those really add flavor to it. So the hottest movie right now is Wonder Woman. And I haven't seen it yet, so I, I, I'm not going to ruin the plot for you because I actually don't know what the plot is. But I used to, a long time ago, you know, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, they're the three main DC characters, you know. The, but one of the questions I always had about Wonder Woman was, you know, she had those bulletproof bracelets and stuff uh, to deflect the bullet. But here's the thing, Wonder Woman is, is bulletproof. So I'm wondering why, <laughs> if her being bulletproof, she still needs to deflect them bullets. <laughs> I, I don't know why. So I did a little bit of research on that, and I, I found out that those bracelets are actually not really meant to deflect the bullet. The bracelets are meant to contain her ultimate power. See, she is the daughter of Zeus, so that means she's pretty much all powerful. And those bracelets actually, they they put up like some kind of like a dampening feel on her ultimate strength, like, and she's already pretty strong. There's like she could beat up Superman, but without those bracelets, all hell would break loose. She would destroy anything, anything and anyone. So that's what the bracelets are for. But I guess you know she uses it to deflect bullets as well. Um, why? I don't know. And there was a comic strip, a little comic strip that actually gave a plausible reason why. And it shows Superman and Wonder Woman together and they're, they're being fired upon by, by some bad guys. And Superman's doing his Superman pose, bullets bouncing off his chest and stuff. And Wonder Woman's like deflecting the bullets. And Superman, Superman asks her, aren't you bulletproof? And she goes, yes. He goes, then why need the bracelets? So Wonder Woman decided, oh, well, she did this. And then the bullets are bouncing off her boobs and it's jiggling her boobs, right? So they're jiggling, they're jiggling and they're jiggling and jiggling. And the, the bad guys are starting to get a good laugh out of it. They're going to start laughing because they're jiggling. And then Superman goes, understood. So she went back to deflecting bullets again. So that, that may or may not actually be a reason why she actually deflects bullets with her, with her bracelet to prevent her, her boobs from jiggling. But <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it because it's the only excuse I can find other than, other than, because you use bulletproof. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, if you, if you have seen the movie, let me know in the comments how you like it. And let me know what other inconsistencies you found in it. Like, can she fly? Because in the comics, she can fly now. Is she still using an invisible jet? Because she no longer needs that in the comics. So, yeah. anyway, so uh, I hope to see it sometime next week. So I'll let you know after I see it. Oh, speaking of superhero, the original Batman passed away today. Adam West. Did you, used to, did you ever watch that, the original Batman? Yeah, when I was very little. When you were a little kid, you know, the pow, and the yeah, biff, and the uh, yeah, oof. Like, ah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And, and Batman always had everything, like the bat, Batman anti-shock spray. He just so happened he has that because he was petting a shark. Maybe an alligator, or a Batman anti-alligator spray. I want to invite you to come to the Home Business Summit in LA. Uh, June 16th through 18th, I believe, at the Hilton. Actually, the details will be down in the 
links, just look down somewhere here below. But basically the Home Business Summit is an amazing three day event where you're going to learn all about online marketing, how to make money with high ticket items, high profit uh, products. And the promise of the event is that it's gonna teach you how to make $100,000 or more in the next 12 months. So if you're just getting started with internet marketing, if you wanna learn how the big boys do it, how to make tons of money, then come to this event and learn. Not only will you get all the information from all the speakers and the lessons, but you're also going to network with like-minded individuals so that you are motivated to actually take your business to the next level. I highly recommend it. I've been to three or four of these and it's, they've been amazing, worth every penny and my business has been elevated every single time I go to this event. So I recommend that you go to uh, Home Business Summit, June 16th through the 18th. Again, the link will be down below with all the information and uh, we hope to see you there.